Hey, it's Ann Swanson here, Tai Chi for Health instructor, and today I'm going to go through a lower body Tai Chi warm up routine. This is really great if you have knee pain, hip pain, if you're working with your balance, because we'll be focusing on dynamic balance today. So what I'd like you to do is go ahead and stand up. You're welcome to have a chair nearby to hold onto or even be near the wall to hold onto at any point. You're also welcome to rest and watch whenever needed. So feet about hip distance apart, stand tall, release your arms down. And start by bringing your arms up halfway. And then bring them back. Let's do that again. Bring your arms up and then float them back. Once again, bring them up and float them back behind you, shifting your weight to one foot. The other foot is empty. Take that empty foot and bring it forward, tapping it down. Let's come back to center. Just tap it in center and bring that same foot back, arms go forward. So I just slightly bring it back behind me. I'm on the ball mound of my foot and my heel is really close to the floor. Try not to put weight in it if possible. Come back to center, tap and center, and bring it forward, hands back. Back to center, leg back, hands forward back to center or you could skip through and go right into leg forward hands back and leg back hands forward always welcome to stop and center come back shift your weight over for the other side so other foot's going to go forward tap the heel down try not to put any weight in it hands back my standing knee is bent and then I'll come back to center and pause for a moment, get my balance, bring that same leg back, hands forward. It kind of goes back and out a little, so I'm not walking a straight line. And then come back to center or skip through. You're welcome to do that. Leg forward, hands back. Leg back, hands forward. And one more set. Now, come back to center, feet are about hip distance apart. And imagine that your hands are in a giant popcorn bowl. So really big bowl here, you're pressing on one side of the bowl. Now shift your weight over to that side. And then glide your hands down through the bowl to the other side and press. My weight is on that side also. Let's do that again. Gliding over, shifting your weight over. Now this foot's empty, you could lift it. And gliding over, shift your weight over, press. Test to see this one's empty. And then glide over. You can either keep doing this, or this time when you press, reach that leg out and tap it. Just tap the ball mound down, come back to center. Shift slowly, weight comes over with your hands, and tap. Come back to center, shifting slowly. And just get into a flow with this tap. You can always just shift side to side. Last one. and then come back to center, making soft fists. Bring them about at your hip points, and we'll practice the punches first. So when you punch, you're gonna to wanna to punch forward, straight forward, not crossing over your body. And then bring it back, palm facing up. Do that again, punch the other arm straight forward, and keep the elbow slightly bent so you don't lock it straight. A little bend in the elbow, a softness. Come back to center. 
and punch practice on this side. And last one. Now let's practice just the legs. So keep your hands right here and turn your toes out slightly. Now we're gonna kick in the air. So shift your weight over to one side and kick the other foot forward. Now it can just tap on the ground like this or you can kick it up in the air. That's up to you whatever works for you. You could even kick it up higher, but if you kick it higher, you need to be able to slowly bring it down. So find what works for you. We'll do the other side now. So either kicking it forward or higher or higher, but slowly descend with control from wherever you are. This time when you kick, whatever height works for you, opposite arm punches. Come back to center, shift over, and kick, opposite arm punches. One more set. And back. Shift your weight over to one foot, doesn't matter which foot, either one, and then bring the empty foot forward, just slightly forward, heel comes down, toe comes down. My toe is facing forward, so my back foot's out 45 degrees about, my front foot is facing forward, and it's empty. Come back to center, let's do just that part on the other side, shifting over, heel, toe, it's empty. And come back to center, place it down, toes out, shift over, this time we're gonna to add to it. Anytime you feel like you feel a little pain or pull in your knee, means you need to take a smaller step. Or feel free to just visualize as you build the strength toward this. So heel, toe, weight forward. As you go weight forward, you should be able to look down and your knee does not go past your toes. So you can still see your toes below. Come back to center, place it down, toes facing out, shifting over, heel, toe, it's empty. Now coming forward, check to make sure your knee isn't going past your toes and then come back. Let's add the punching in. Shifting over, empty foot goes forward, small step, heel, toes, and then come on forward and punch. Staying upright, not leaning forward. Come back to center, place it down, shifting over, and heel, toes, come forward and punch. Let's pause here for a moment and just check in. So we want about 60% of our weight forward and 40% back. Check in and see that's where you are. Your back heel is down. You're not lifting it up. You're not leaning forward. Nice and grounded. Front elbow is slightly bent. Let's come back. Place it down, toes facing out. Shifting over and heel, toes, punching and back. Take your time with the transition. Heel, toes, punching, and back. Let's do one more set. Shift over. Heel, toe, it's empty. Now come forward with your weight and punch. Always feel free to take a smaller step if it's challenging. I'm gonna do that the next step. And building your way up to larger steps over time. And we'll come back to center. Bring your hands to your hips. And bring one leg forward, 
Tap the heel down to flex your foot and then point your foot. Flex, point, one more set. And bring it back, other side. most important of the ankle movements, you're going to turn your sole of your foot in and tap the little toe down on the ground. This is inversion. And then turn out, tapping the big toe down. Eversion. Turning in and out. In and out. Come back to center. We'll do the other side. You may be asking, why is this the most important of the ankle movements or really of a lot of the balancing movements? I think this is very important. Well, when we fall, if we fall, we tend to fall by twisting our ankle. So if you can practice the agility and the flexibility, mobility, and strength, building that strength in your ankle, you're gonna be more likely to catch yourself. We're able to feel our ankles better and catch ourselves before we fall. So go ahead and take a moment and just stand. Feel the resulting sensations, knees soft, weight back toward your heels. Notice what your balance was like today without judgment. Notice your breath. Just take it all in. And thank you so much for joining me. Make sure you join me for the full practice where we go through the warm ups created by Dr. Paul Lamb for arthritis and balance and fall prevention. He created these with a team of experts, rheumatologists, physical therapists, and it has been researched to show that it's very helpful for folks dealing with pain and improving balance as well as other things. So check out the link below to join me for that practice and make sure that you click the subscribe button and write a comment. How do you feel? How was your balance today? Thank you so much and be well.